We have this recurring question that seems to come up a lot when we travel to new, special places. We look around in wonder and we ask each other, how is this a place? This began on a trip to Switzerland. Our 15-year-old daughter was amazed at the views from our apartment in the village of Muren, located on the mountainside about 2,500 feet above the Lauterbrunnen Valley at an elevation of about 5,400 feet, with views of the Eiger and Schulthorn Mountains. She was also enchanted with the village in the valley. Her constant refrain as we came upon new vistas on that trip was, how is this a place? That statement resonated with us. Seeing the world through her eyes helped open ours to the wonder of these new experiences. Both epic like the impact of these mountain landscapes and subtle like a hidden village you come upon by accident when trying to find your way to another destination. It gave us a renewed and grateful appreciation of the world around us. What makes a place have this kind of impact? The easiest to understand are places with epic vistas. Epic nature on a massive scale with a unique landscape. Think Grand Canyon or Swiss Alps. But it can also be perfection on a smaller scale. A subtle, quiet perfection that can have a dreamlike impact. Small villages in the Cotswolds in England, biking along a canal in the Netherlands. Seeing the sunrise while traveling on an overnight sleeper train from Oslo to Bergen, or strolling through a residential neighborhood in Paris. For us, it's usually in the context of seeing some epic nature, like first encountering the mountains rising up from the fjords in western Norway, or the vistas at Yellowstone Park, or the otherworldly landscapes of Iceland, biking through the Lauterbrunnen Valley in Switzerland, climbing the narrow streets and alleys of the Alfama neighborhood in Lisbon, or the endless ocean views from the tops of the mountains on Madeira. That initial amazement at an epic location an experience of awe and wonder can last a lifetime. How is this a place also comes up when experiencing special intimate places, coming upon a hidden waterfall while hiking in the forest, an evening meal in a restaurant in an alley in some small village, a drink at a cafe along the river in Lisbon, a simple morning coffee and pastry in a bakery in Edinburgh, relaxing in a cafe under the palms in Tulum, Mexico, wandering around a market in Saudi Arabia, or getting lost in a maze of streets in Tallinn. An intimate new personal experience can be as lasting as the experience of some epic location. Houses a place can also arise from a special experience, a hike through a new kind of landscape, biking between towns in the Netherlands, searching for special treats at the Boqueria marketplace in Barcelona, settling in to hear the amazing jazz players in a bar on Frenchman Street in New Orleans, or on a random corner of the French Quarter, or stopping at a modest cafe you stumble upon when searching for a shop in Paris, and getting an amazing lunch that you keep trying to replicate in your own kitchen over the next few years. Photos don't usually communicate the impact of these places. You really have to experience it for yourself. The how is this a place reaction is a highly personal thing, a reaction based on your experiences leading up to that moment. Maybe you grew up in a mountain town in Colorado, so you aren't that impressed with the mountains, but an epic view of the ocean seems magical. Or you're from New York City and are captivated by walking around a small country village. Each person will have their own unique mix of reactions to the new places they visit. Experiencing new and unique locations can be transformative. The experience of a special new place with an amazing natural landscape, special historical significance, or unique architecture and culture can expand your worldview and give you new perspectives on your everyday life. We look forward to having many more new and memorable experiences in the upcoming years. It keeps us going. What about you? What are your most memorable experiences that you've had in your travels? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.